why don't Mormons generally just lie about having sex before marriage? So number one is that often they do. That is a real thing that happens very often. But Mormonism literally puts the fear of God into you about lying about it. And a lot of people that grew up in normal, non-high demand religions are going to be like, well, you just don't say anything. It's not anyone's business. That's not how it works in Mormonism. When you're Mormon, you're supposed to be getting married in a temple. They tell you these terrible stories when you're a teenager about like, oh, this couple, they didn't want to get married in the temple right away. They had a like regular worldly wedding and they decided they would get married in the temple later. And on the way home from the wedding, they got in a terrible car crash and died. And now they will be eternally separated. So there was a lot of fear mongering that goes into like this pressure that you need to get married in the temple first off. Secondly, to be able to go to the temple and have this temple wedding ceremony, you have to go through an interview with your bishop where he's going to ask you questions about you keeping the law of chastity. Some bishops are really just like sweet and short to the point. They don't actually really want to know your business. They'll just be like, do you keep the law of chastity? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no, and we'll take care of it from there. But when you're Mormon, lying to this man if you actually believe in the doctrine is incredibly difficult because they believe that these men are called from God and that lying to the bishop is the equivalent of lying to Jesus Christ himself. Even if you would have lied to everybody else, like lying to the bishop is an extra heavy duty sin, especially when it comes to sexual things. And only pure people are allowed to go into the temple. So if you go to the temple and you're impure, then you risk like having none of your blessings count and being eternally separated from your family. So it's quite a lot of pressure, even though it's all made up. I had a friend who um, kept the law of chastity up until two weeks before her wedding and they had sex. And she had to then call up everyone on her guest list every single person she'd invited and be like, hey, we will not be getting married in the temple anymore. Here's the time and the place that the wedding will be instead. Incredibly awkward, right? So if you have sex after you set out the wedding invites, you're screwed in more than one way. And either way, people are gonna be picturing you naked, okay? No matter what you choose to do here. So if you think it's nobody's business when you lose your virginity and you wanna lose it on your wedding night and so you lie and say, oh, I already done it, just so people leave you alone and don't bother you about it, then they're gonna be like, oh, you had sex before marriage, big sin, you won't be allowed to get married in the temple right away, you'll have to wait a full year, you're risking getting eternally separated from your family. It's a big, big deal.